In today's video, I'm gonna talk all about project management in my graphic design business. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for being here. So excited because in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all how I manage all of my clients and how I also organize my projects in my graphic design business. When I first started getting a lot of clients, I went back and forth on whether or not to invest in a project management platform. In the beginning, I was using my Google Calendar and an Excel sheet and DocuSign and all of the free programs I could find, but it wasn't until I felt like I had a lot of clients, too many clients to kind of keep track of, and also I really wanted a great place to have everything all in one place, including my contracts, my invoices, my proposals and everything, all of the correspondences I've had with my clients. I wanted it all under one roof. And it's so nice because there's so many platforms out there that really help you organize everything and kind of keep you on track. So over the past couple of years, when I did take my business full time, I've dove more into the platform I use, which is Dubsado. I absolutely love it. So in today's video, I was gonna show you guys my favorite things about Dubsado. This is not sponsored, uh, but I really feel like I resonate with where you guys might be in your business on deciding whether or not you should invest in one of these platforms and if it really does help. And I'm here to say it really truly does, but I do feel like there is a time in your business when it's right to take that leap. And that time for me was when I felt like I had too many clients to keep track of. So. Anyway, I'm so excited to show you guys what I do love about the platform. If you are unsure of what I'm talking about, basically Dubsado is similar to other platforms like HoneyBook or Hello Bonsai. There's lots of platforms that do similar things, but ultimately I decided to go with Dubsado because I felt it had everything I needed and it really had some awesome opportunities to customize and brand my forms and templates, which as designers, you all know is so important. So I really wanted a platform where I was able to change the fonts, the colors, and actually kind of design the forms and everything so custom to my brand. So Dubsado really had those features and I also just loved the way it flowed and was laid out. Ultimately it comes down to something you're gonna be able to use consistently. And I felt that Dubsado had the, the features and everything I liked. So I'm gonna show you guys a little more all about that, but I wanted to preface by kind of explaining what Dubsado even is. So it is a project management platform. It helps you send invoices, have reminders about those invoices, get the contract signed. And also one of my favorite parts is it categorizes clients coming in as new, clients in process and clients completed. So you can kind of organize the process of everything and it truly helps me. It also connects with my Google Calendar, which really, really helps me stay on track with everything going on in my life. Cause I do have a personal life too, which I know we all do. So I love that it kind of connects and shows me what I have going on during what weeks. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys behind the scenes of what is inside of Dubsado, what I really love about it. And I really hope that it helps you in your decision making process on whether or not to invest in a system like this. Okay, the first thing I wanted to show you guys in Dubsado is the workflows. I love these for saving time in my business. You can basically automate these workflows to send emails or schedulers or forms for you. So I do recommend if you decide to go with Dubsado, setting these up, having all your canned emails, which is one of my freebies, all of those in here so that you can just apply the workflow to the client and it'll just streamline your business and save you so much time. But as you can see, there's lots of options in here, subject line, email body, you can just select your canned email, choose which scheduler you wanna send or which form you wanna send and at what time you wanna send that. So typically what I will do is when someone fills out my contact form, I will have this workflow automatically applied based on which contact form they filled out or which service they picked. I do like to go back and check the contact form and make sure that there's someone I do want to work with. And then I have the workflow send this email so that they can schedule an appointment with me. This also kind of shows you what the email inbox looks like and it's really nice. It's all in one place. Another thing I love about Dubsado is the scheduler. So I love that Dubsado comes with the option to set up your own scheduling links. So I have multiple links, as you can see on the left-hand side, 
for different service types or different, um, whether it's a design review versus a discovery call. But I love that they have the scheduler because I can actually apply additional forms to these schedulers so that before confirming the appointment, they have to fill out more information about their business. This really helps save me time and also get to know the client a little better before I hop on a call so I know exactly what to ask. You can also set up the times of the reminders so you can send it 24 hours before, one hour before. Super nice to have those appointment reminders and all of that all in one place once again. Now I really wanted to touch on workflows one more time because I think this is one of the most powerful things Dubsado offers. Right in here is where you can basically set up all the different workflows. So as an example, I'll click into this one and I'll kind of show you the options of what you can choose within the workflow because truly this step right here is what has saved me so much time. I actually show you guys um, a little more details about all of this in the freebie I have down below um, and exactly how to set these up. But workflows are truly one of the most amazing things that Dubsado has. And I do need to spend more time setting these up because it truly does save a lot, a lot of time. Okay, one of my other favorite things is the task boards. So I have multiple different task boards for each different service I offer. I have like my website in a week task board, um, my branding design task board and things like that in here. So these are really nice because you can apply it to any of the client's project. And you, uh, the only unfortunate thing is you can't put ranges of dates. It's only the date that it's due, but this will actually link to my Google calendar, which makes it so seamless for me. And I can see what is due when, and also the client can see this as well. And I'll show you an example of what I mean in this little test one I have. So underneath the task tabs, you can go to the task board area and click on that drop down, apply the task board to your specific project. And you can actually make sure to activate the portal and add it in there. Um, and then when the clients log in, I will show you where they can see that task board. This is kind of nice too, because I've gone back and forth with using different project like task board um, websites, but I like to have it all in one place. Um, so this is really nice for making that happen. And you usually can set the password to just the client's email. And I do have a workflow set up so that they get all the information automatically when they become a client. So that's super nice. But underneath the projects um, in the portal, you can see the emails, the profile, everything like that. But once I apply the task board and make sure I change the privacy settings, so I'll show you how I do that. I apply the task board and then I'll hit the little drop down and go privacy settings, apply to client portal, make sure to save it. And now when I go back into my portal underneath projects, you're gonna wanna make sure you select that project the task board's applied to, um, and then you'll be able to see the task board. So I absolutely love this option. It'll just open up and show them what I'm working on during what weeks. This task board's empty, but you kind of get the gist. So those are some of the things I love about Dubsado. I actually am so excited because coming up next month, I will be launching a Dubsado course with my good friend, Moya. She is amazing at setting up the client experience. She has really helped me organize my Dubsado. She even offers services to kind of organize your project management systems as well. So I've decided to bring her in and help me with this course because I know she has so much knowledge. She's honestly just worked with so many different industries, but most specifically designers, and she knows exactly how to make the client experience perfect. So I'm so excited to have her on this course with me. It will be launching hopefully end of August. I don't have the, the launch date yet because we're still working on the content but I will let you guys know that the content is really coming along. I'm so excited because we will walk you through every single stage of Dubsado, how to set it up. And honestly, you don't really need to purchase it to get the course. You don't have to have a Dubsado account. The course will actually kind of help you make that decision even easier when it comes to deciding if Dubsado is right for you. So I'm so excited about the course though. If you are interested in it, I do have a wait list. So go sign up for the wait list below if that's something that you wanna learn more about. Um, the wait lists or people will get first notice on the pre-order and when the launch date is decided. So definitely go sign up for the wait list. 
But in addition to that, I do have a couple of freebies to kind of help you get started with this type of thing in your business, including the project management. So I have a freebie all about pre-written emails. So the freebie will give you like three, I think it's three pages on a Google Doc of emails that you can just mimic and add it to your own project system. Um, it really helps save time if you have kind of that email written out already and what to say in specific situations in your business, like if they missed a payment or payment reminder emails. So definitely go check that one out. And I actually just created another freebie for you all where I show you behind the scenes of one of my actual workflows. So workflows, I kind of showed you guys a little sneak peek of that, but I do show you the actual website in a week preparation workflow that I have in my own business. So if you wanna see behind the scenes of how I use the workflows, definitely go check that one out as well. I will have them all linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it helps you and my goal with all of these videos is to just make your life easier when it comes to running your business. And I feel like I was so stressed in the beginning because I didn't know what to do. So I really hope that these videos kind of help and guide you on your graphic design journey or business journey, whatever industry you're in. I'm sure that these systems can really, really help you out and save you some time. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below, go check out those freebies before they are gone, and I will see you guys in my next video.